Mm, finally home. I wonder what she's up to. I haven't heard from her in a little bit, so maybe I'll check in on her. First, I gotta set all these groceries down, though. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see what I got. It looks like... Eggs, bread, juice, milk, some ice cream for her. I know she likes it. And let's see here. Ah, of course. There we go. Now we should put that all in the fridge. <laughs> all right. Now for the second bag, let's get all these spices out here. Oh, I know we just move in, but damn, I didn't know we'd need so much food. Really is a necessity, isn't it? Besides, if I want to cook for her, I need all these spices, or else it's going to taste like shit. <laughs> all right, spices go in the cupboard, and so does our pasta. And then some sauces. Mmm, I can't wait to get some spaghetti going. Maybe tomorrow, though, it's a little late. I know, I usually like going out late, but she might be asleep by now. I guess I should go check in on her. Mmm. Oh, what's that sound? Mm, is she crying? I can't, I can't tell. She might be crying. What, what could she be crying for though? Why did this have to happen tonight? <sighs> okay. Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Oh, you don't look okay. If I'm being honest, you look like shit, <laughs> but that's okay. Do you want to tell me what's wrong? Okay, you don't have to. I won't make you. Do you mind if I scoot in with you? It might help. Okay, I won't do anything bad. I won't, you know, I won't take advantage of you in your sleep or anything. I just, you know, I thought it might help, and you seem kind of lonely right now. There, how does that feel? A little bit better, huh? It's a little bit warmer, isn't it? <laughs> I know we have different rooms, but I could definitely get used to sharing a bed. I don't mean it in the weird way, I just mean, you know, it's nice to be able to hug something and get hugged and feel wanted and, you know, it's just a nice feeling. So what happened with you? Your boyfriend? Oh no, I'm so sorry. That sounds awful. Trust me, I know how it feels. Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm here for you. It really, it really is a shame to have something like that happen. Especially because I know you were such a great girlfriend to him. You were, I mean, you were going over to his place every other night. and I don't know. 
I just felt like it, this, this is out of the blue, you know? Sorry, I won't, I won't rub it in or anything, but I get how it feels to do everything right and still people will be shitty. Yeah, that's just one of the things you can't avoid. If they want to do something, they're going to do it, no matter how well you treat them. Yeah, I know. I know you treated him well. I know how well you treated him. Trust me. It's not fair for you to be treated like this. You deserve something so much better. Yeah, you really do. I wouldn't say that if I didn't believe it. You've put so much time and effort into that relationship only for him to go out and screw some dime a dozen bitch. It's just, it's annoying. It's annoying for me to have to hear because I thought he was a good guy. Turns out he wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I want you to know that it isn't your fault. It's never your fault when these kind of things happen. Truly, it isn't your fault, I promise. I know. Sometimes it can feel like you're helpless and that, like if you were a better girlfriend, that something would have changed, but I don't think that's how this one went. You could have been the perfect girl. You are the perfect girl. And yet he went and did something like that. It's just, it's one of those things that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I do think you're the perfect girl. I would, I would do a lot to have a girlfriend like you. Maybe not kill, but you get what I mean. No, I don't mean like that. I know you just got out of a relationship. I don't, I don't want to impose on that. I just. Yeah, I understand. I won't do anything with you if you don't want to. Just know that I'm here for you, no matter what, whatever you need. You want to. Okay. Here. How did that feel? Okay, you need more time. Now it's completely reasonable. You wanted to see how it felt and... I mean, it felt good to me. I'm glad you agree, but... I completely understand needing more time, especially since it's only been, what, a couple hours? How long have you been crying for? Four hours? Oh, I'm so sorry. Look, you should get some sleep. Sounds like you need it. I'll be right here next to you, I promise. You can cuddle up with me. I won't do anything to you. Just think of me as a big, walking, talking teddy bear. I know, it's harder than it sounds, but I'm not going to do anything, so... Shouldn't be too bad, right? Okay. Let's slide down then. Get yourself into a more comfortable position. Oh, poor you. Your eyes are bright red. Mm-hmm. It's all swollen and puffy. Oh, boy. I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve any of this. You are the perfect girl. I promise. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. Don't cry, it'll all be okay. It'll all be okay. You'll get over him, I promise. I can help you if you need me to. 
Yeah. Do you like when I run my fingers through your hair like that? Okay, I'll keep doing it. Just calm down. It'll be okay. Lie your head on my arm. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yeah, it's time to go to bed. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to bed with you. I'll be right here until you wake up and I'll make you breakfast. Okay. Okay. Good night. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. So strong, so brave. You'll survive this, I know it. 